Hey guys, what is up? It's Laura here, back with another video. So, I'm going to address why my hair is wet. So, this is actually for a different review video on some hair care products, just letting you guys know. No one asked, but in case anyone was wondering. So, this is going to be a Hot Topic haul. I have not shopped at Hot Topic in a really long time. Overall, um, growing up, it was the type of store that like people were like, oh my gosh, it's like so emo if you shop at Hot Topic. And now I feel like that's not the case. I feel like the way that it's set up is a lot different. They definitely cater more, at least in my mind, to the like the more anime, cosplay, um, band aesthetic now. So I got some cute, super cute things that I am excited to show you guys. So this was a splurge. Um, these are definitely not cheap. Well, technically most of the stuff in Hot Topic that I got wasn't that cheap, but irregardless, I am in love. So this is my first lounge fly bag. If you guys know much about lounge fly, they're mostly more so popular for like their Disney collection lounge fly bags because people take them to like, you know, when they go to Disney World, Disneyland, and they put them in their photos and they're just super cute. But why this is significant besides, you know, being my first lounge fly bag is this is actually the Harry Potter X pop. Um, so if you guys know what pops are, um, I actually have a couple, um, but I'm not gonna get up and show you guys because they're like Fortnite ones and really not that exciting to look at. But, you know, they're the figurines with the big heads and stuff. So it has the pop logo on here. And then you have Harry, uh, you have the owl, what is it, Hedwig? Is that what I'm thinking of? I haven't watched Harry Potter in a really long time, to be quite honest. You even have um, the logo lounge fly on the um, engraved like zippers. So I have not used this yet. I'm actually thinking of possibly getting a dust bag because I want to save this specifically for when I'm like going on a trip, which I won't be going on a trip for a while, just with like, yeah, winter and stuff like that. But when I go on vacation, I definitely want to have a cute backpack to show off. So like I said, it's literally new. Like I haven't even opened the straps yet. Um, and yeah, I think it's designed really cute. It's like all black with like gold details. I think what really attracted to me um, about this bag was besides the fact that it's Harry Potter, cause I could have gotten legitimately any bag I wanted. They had like so many different options was, I'm probably gonna put that back in there to keep the, uh, um, the shape, but The inside has like red, pop, and Harry Potter. It was actually more so the fact that it was a combination of pop and Harry Potter. I just thought like the large heads gave a very like cartoon feel to it. Also, I was a fan of like the kind of, you know, sky view to it with the stars and the clouds. So yeah, that's mainly why I got it. It actually holds like a lot more than I thought it would. Still pretty expensive, but yeah. So the next thing that I have is I could not pass up. This Gengar plush, oh my gosh. This was so cute, I had to get it. Gengar, um, actually Piplup's my favorite Pokemon, but Gengar, um, Meowth, Purgly, like those are like pretty close up there and I could not pass it up. I was just like, it's too cute. So I got this small bag because I threw out the other bag. Um, and they had a deal where if you purchase like the clearance items, you get two of them for free. So I actually got these all for not a bad deal. I mean, honestly, the clearance section was pretty small, but as soon as I saw this, I died. I was like, I need to have it. So, look what this is. This is a miniature pin. 
So I didn't even know Loungefly had like these accessories. I definitely want to check out their website and see what other kind of products they have. But this is a Mickey Mouse popsicle to put on your Loungefly bag. I also need to research where exactly people put these because I don't want to like accidentally puncture something that I'm not supposed to be puncturing. But yeah, that was super cute. That was $7. So for my two free items that I got, they actually probably should have charged me for the uh, these, but they made these two the free items, even though they were $7 a piece and they charged me for the additional five. Not sure why they did that. Maybe they just felt like being nice. But this is the Cream Shop um, Disney Dark Spot Blemish Patches. I don't know if I want to do a review on these or not. They're super cute, but they might be like an old product. Um, but still look cool regardless. And these are a Christmas present for my mom so we can be matching. I'm a huge fan of scrunchies. I normally wear them whenever I'm out. So these are the Suicide Squad um, scrunchies. They even come with these little like pins and stuff, which I feel like you could like definitely take this off and maybe make like a bracelet out of it or something. I don't know. Uh, having something like this personally on a scrunchie, I feel like isn't like the best use of it. So I definitely want to use it for something else. And then we have lastly, this is my favorite thing. Besides the lounge five bag and besides like the Gengar, as soon as I saw this, I was like, I need to have it. So one of my favorite like all time animes has to be Naruto. I used to watch it all the time when I was growing up on Toonami Jetstream. So this is the Naruto um, like pet kitty collection. This is like 10 or $11, something like that. But as soon as I saw it, I was like, this would be an amazing, like, addition to my current bag that I have. Because I have, like, a Piplip keychain for it. But I just thought this was too cute. So, yeah, that's the entire haul from Hot Topic. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye!